Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about forensic examination of fibers. In my previous video, I've discussed about what fiber is and the different types of fiber or the classification of fiber. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the examination of fiber. So first introduction. Now fiber analysis is a method of identifying and examining fibers used by law enforcement agencies around the world to procure evidence during an investigation. Now we know that fiber can act as a trace evidence in any crime scene. So what happened in fiber analysis method is that we identify that this thing is a fiber and then we are going to examine the fibers as in which fiber is this and how can it be linked to the crime scene and to the suspect. So this method, fiber analysis method, is used by the law enforcement agencies uh, in order to, you know, solve the crime. Now the processing of fiber evidence is divided into basically four main steps. First is the recovery, then is identification, then comes comparison and eval evaluation. First is recovery. When we try to search for different evidence in the crime scene, we are going to find a fiber. So that is the recovery portion. Recovery can also be recovery. After recovery, we are going to collect it. So fibers are they are gathered from a crime scene using different different instruments like for example tweezers in the first picture tweezers are used then tape can be used as in as is being used in the second picture or a vacuum cleaner can be used to collect all the fiber and later on they can be separated out now the most common sources of transferred fiber are clothing these clothing can be uh, the clothing of the victim or the clothing of the suspect can also have fibers transferred from the victim uh, other than this, drapes, rugs, furniture and blanket, all these are common sources of fibers. Then identification. So we need, now that we have got a evidence, got an evidence and now we need to identify it. So first we have physical matching, then there is microscopic examination, then we can do burn test then we can do solubility test. First two are non-destructible methods whereas the last two are destructible in nature. So in physical matching, we are physically going to match it. Like what can this, uh, what can this fiber possibly be? It is, is it a wool? Is it a, a silk? Is, is it cotton? Just by looking at it, we are going to see it physically. The color of the fiber, what color is it? what clothing can it be retached from so all these things are looked at in the physical matching process then comes microscopic examination and uh, in which we are going to see the uh, evidence under a microscope so sample of the fiber are class can also be identified under the microscope the longitudinal sections of the fiber show some characteristic different types of characteristics different uh, cross sections are made for different fibers and they look different as we can see here in the picture so cotton looks like a ribbon with twist along the length of the fiber then flax fibers they look like single fiber have having nodes at the intervals along the fiber length irregular width often a bundle of fiber tightly packed in the lengthwise direction rather than individual fiber. Then if we talk about wool in the outer surface and the edges are rough due to the overlapping surfaces scale. Then if we talk about silk, then the cross section of silk is triangular. It is like smooth rod with periodic bulges. Then we can also do burn test in which we take a burner and we burn it, burn the fiber and then we observe, we see how the uh, fiber is reacting to the flame when it approaches it, when it is in the flame, the odor that we are getting and the ash or the residue of the uh, 
after the burning is absorbed so this table is showing different how different fibers have react differently to the flame like for example cotton when it is when it approaches the flame it ignites readily then in the flame it is burning quickly odor is like paper burning and ash color is soft gray but for silk approaching when silk approaches a flame it melts away and it burns slowly and the odor is like hair burning smell and uh, ash is dark ash so this was this is how we can differentiate we can uh, come to uh, some some type of conclusion that this fiber can be uh, can be cotton or it can be wool or rayon etc then we can also do solubility test in this the fiber is this uh, is put under different solvents and then we see if the uh, fiber is soluble in that solvent or not like for example cotton is insoluble in acetone but it is slightly soluble in sulfuric acid and it is completely soluble it is slightly soluble in 60% sulfuric acid and it is completely soluble in 70% but if we talk about nylon it is um, insoluble in acetone but completely soluble in HCl 20%, sulfuric acid 60%, sulfuric acid 70% and formic acid 90%. So different types of fibers are going to have different solubilities in different solvents so on the basis of that we can differentiate that yes uh, this fiber can be cotton or olefin or nylon or polyester etc so this was all about examination of fiber if you found the content to be useful then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching